Okay, this is a thermal imaging camera test uh, we did tonight. We only got the flu yesterday. So this is the first of many. It's in the garden, just a test run to show you the different modes. And that's without the flu. So you can quite easily see the difference. Those are two victims. That's the field they're running in. You'll see that 75 meters without the thermal imaging, that's 75 meters with the thermal imaging. We do several examples like this so you can see the difference. All the meters are listed there as well. That's without, you'll see the torch in the distance there, and that's with 250 meters. So that's not bad distance at all. Various settings on these things. So obviously the various settings will be able to uh, adjust according to the situation. So if it's an area where there's a lot of heat, a lot of trees, trees give heat at night, the heat they've gathered during the day, then uh, you would change it to a different setting and so on. It also picks up vehicles as you'll see at the end of this clip, uh, very, very easily uh, spots them. The one thing about this camera, it's a lot clearer when you look at it uh, with your own eyes and not through a camera. 300 um, meters. Pretty much what happens is the picture distorts through the lens of the camera, because obviously this is all imaging. So ultimately, yeah, you'll see that's three, that's 415 meters. You'll see the torch in the distance being shined there. That's them. That's 415 meters with the flu. Um, so you can see the difference. This uh, is thermal imaging. It doesn't see through bushes, but obviously if the person's in the bushes or around the bushes or there's any form of heat given off around a bush, you would see the person. Um, obviously, the closer the better in that case, but in an open field, it's perfect. Uh, there's obviously various different types you get. Uh, this is the one. So now you'll see that's before we turn the flare on and then we turn it on. And there we go. As I said, much, much clearer uh, when you look at it through your own eyes and not a camera. And there's a vehicle that's parked in the field. You'll see the different settings we click through there. You can also be able to tell if the vehicle is hot or cold by adjusting the setting. So you can figure out how long the vehicle has been parked there for and so on. Uh, lots and lots of settings. Then while we were there, a security vehicle came and parked behind a tree. So that's the car parked behind the tree. You can see the different settings there. And then obviously that's after so you'll see it's it's a massive difference so yeah that's it good first test